Lesson three is all about layouts. Now, just to note that I have started my server with npm run dev down below, but I want you to look at the index.html page and the astro page. You'll notice that there's a lot of reused code here, all this head items, and really the only thing that's different is what's inside the body. In one case, we have about, in the other case, we've got nothing. Now, I do have some unique things like this astro title here, whereas this one says about. So how can we reuse this stuff without having to rewrite it multiple times? The answer is layouts. Now, layouts aren't anything special. They're just Astro components, but they're supposed to be used in this kind of a scenario. So what I'm going to do, and this is what Astro recommends, is I'm going to create another folder inside my SRC, and I'm going to call this layouts. And then inside here, I'm going to create a file. We're just going to call this main layout.astro. You can name it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to name it. And then it's going to have the same kind of front matter. So I'll do three dashes, and I can hit enter, and it will actually autocomplete that because of the extension I have installed. And then all the rest of the stuff will be just down here below. So this will also give us a little introduction in how to basically use data between components and pass data around. We'll be doing that a lot in this series as well. But what I'm going to do is just copy all of this from either the about or the index. doesn't really matter, and I'm going to paste it over here. Now, what I want to do is be able to use this layout and then just insert the individual things I need from each page inside here, inside this body. We can do this in a few different ways, but to start with, what I'm going to do is create what's called a slot. So I'll say slot like this, and you can do it one of two ways. You can either have it as a self-closing tag like this, and everything from another component will be put right in this slot, or you can actually have it like this and have a closing tag and have some like default uh, text in, in here if you prefer. So let's just leave it just like that. And then what we're going to do is use this layout in the other components. So let's come back over here to the about component. And I'm going to actually strip out all of this. Now, how do I use the main layout? Well, it's like any other HTML tag. Like if I, if I had an H1, I would just complete it like that. Well, because I'm using an Astro component, I'm going to type main like this. And you'll notice that the extension actually gives me an auto import here. I can come down to main layout with that little Astro icon, hit enter, and it will import that up top if I want to. I can also manually type this out if I want. It's just a relative path to that directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this just to kind of keep everything clean. So we'll say uh, component imports. And then right inside here, because I've got a slot, all I have to do is like I would use an H1 tag or a paragraph tag or anything like that, I can just come in here and I can add whatever I want. So hi from about. All right, just like that. Now, if I come over here and I go to the about page, you'll notice I get hi from about. Now, if I remove this, what do you think is going to happen? Well, if you remember, we actually have some default content in that slot, and I'm going to get that default text. Now, the extension also will go ahead and just add a closing tag since I don't actually have a slot in here. That's how it's going to use it. Now, there's one other way you can use slots, and that is if I come back over this way, you can actually have named slots. So I could say slot and then give it a name like this, and then all I have to do is reference it. So like whatever, you call it whatever you want and close it off. And then in the future, in the Astro component, I would just reference it like this with its name property here. So I could call it hi or whatever I called it over there. So that will actually drop it into that singular slot. We're not going to be doing that in this tutorial, but just so you know, that's what you can do. All right, now the other question we want to know is how do we actually dynamically change this right here, this about to be based on whatever the page is? Well, we can do that with more bracketed syntax. Now, think about what we used before. Getting data down into these components means using stuff in the front matter, and the same is true here. So there's a couple things we can do. We can reference this with an astro, capital astro, dot props, dot, and then we could say something like title. Then, whenever we get a title passed in as a property, we get to actually reference it in this main layout. Let me show you what I mean. So if I come over here, I can just write this in directly here, title equals uh, about, like this, in the about component. And you can see that this updates over here. If I say about uh, two, it should change to about two. Now, that's actually not the recommended way to do it because really what you want is all your stuff up top here. And what I'm doing is essentially just writing it directly inside here. So instead, what I want is to call this title and then up top to just destructure that. So I'm going to say const uh, title, and then I'm going to grab that from my astro.props. That's especially helpful if you're writing that over and over again. You don't want to keep typing astro.props over and over again. Now my title is referenced down here, and I can reference it right down here. Now while we won't be doing a lot of this in this tutorial, you can actually use TypeScript as well. Let me close this down and come up top here, and I could say something like interface, and I could call this whatever I want. We'll say props. We'll say title, and it needs to be a string. Then I just need to say this needs to be as props, 
The advantage of doing it like this is if I have another thing, let's say I said description, and I have this as a string, then I pull this in down here. So description. If I say this, and I come back over this way, you'll notice I'm getting a red squiggly line. And if I hover, it tells me that I basically need another property called description. It's missing. So I can come in here and say description. And even as I come in here and I start typing, you see it actually gives me that because I've created an interface for that. I'm not going to go a ton into TypeScript in this uh, project tutorial, but just so you know, you can actually use it. So I could say description, uh, my about page. Now I could also make these optional as well. So I could do that right over here, just like this. And then I can actually pass in defaults as well. This is not related to TypeScript now. This is just generally speaking with uh, JavaScript, you can do this when you're passing things in. So I can say as a title, we could say like uh, default uh, title. And then over here for the description, I could say uh, default description. What that means is if I come over here and I don't pass in any of this stuff right here, I'll actually get a default description and a default title. You can see my default title right there. Not a great default, but you can see how that's what it's going to do. Maybe let's change this to something else. We'll call this like uh, my Astro blog, and we'll provide another description. Now, one other thing, we're not actually using this description anywhere, so let's go ahead and do that quickly. So I could come down here, and I can just add a meta tag with the name of description. And the content I could pass it would just be my description. All right, now that we've done that with the about page, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and try to do the same thing with the index page. When you're done, play it again, and I'll show you what I did. All right, hopefully you had a great go of that. I'm going to go ahead and just copy everything from this about page and then open up my index.astro page and just replace all of that because all I'm going to do now is change this to like my blog and maybe I won't pass in a description over here. So let's get rid of this. And then lastly, I'll say hi from home. All right, that's really all there is to it because we're using that layout. Everything else just adapts for us. I get my blog up here, I get hi from home, and then my default uh, description should go in. So that's all we're going to do when it comes to layouts. Now, you can actually get further abstract this if you want. For instance, let's go ahead and create one more component, and we're going to make this the whole head here. That way, the head itself can be a separate component. It also gives me the chance to show you how to pass down props. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this and just delete it. And then let's open up the sidebar. And in the same layouts folder, I guess you could do this somewhere else, but I think I'm just going to do it here. I'm going to call this main head.astro. And I'm going to paste all that code back in here. Then what I want to do is I want to reference the title and the description from my props. So I'm going to say const uh, title and description. And I'm going to pull this in from astro.props. All right, now with all that set and ready to go, I'm going to come back to my main layout. And once again, I'm going to start typing, and I'm going to pull in my main head. And you'll see once again that the extension pulls it in for me. I can either click it, hit Enter, hit Tab, either way. It should import it up top. Let's see right here. Yeah, there you go. Then let's go ahead and close out that tag. Well, how do I get my title and my description down to it? Well, it's the same way I pass in any props between components. I just type title equals uh, title in this case, and then description equals uh, description. Now I'll give you a little hint. You can actually remove the title equals title and the description equals description and just leave it like this and it should work the exact same. I'm getting an error here because you can't use this normally unless you change your extension. Uh, eventually this is coming to the Astro extension, but if I come over here, see I can click on this right here and this will allow me to enable a pre-release version. And then I think you have to reload and let's save this, and you can see now I'm not getting those red squigglies. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. So this is eventually how you can do it, which is nice coming from a React background. I don't have to double type everything. All right, so there it is. And if I come over here, everything should still be working. If I jump over to my About page, everything is working over there. Now let me do just two things, and that is, first of all, let's go ahead and clean this up and add like a imported or component import just so I keep everything straight. I'm going to get rid of this interface since we're not going to be using interfaces here uh, in this project tutorial. And there we go. And then finally, what I want to do is go ahead and update my favicon. So if I come back over here in this favicon folder, I'm just going to replace it. And uh, let's get out of here. Um, I'm going to replace it with what I've got in the code in the description. So if you go to GitHub, go to lesson three branch, and then grab the favicon from there and replace it and save it. And when I do that and I refresh, you see now we've got the favicon that we're going to be using for this site. And again, it's pulling it from the, the public folder and all that is coming in through my head component right here. All right, you should be set now with the basics of layouts, how to actually pass props between components and then pass props down to other components. If any of that's confusing, don't worry. We're going to be doing that all throughout the site. You're going to be a pro in no time. All right, I'll catch you in the next lesson.